Hello to all my friends out there. So I got home. So now it's lunchtime. And so one of the best strategies for not running out of food is to plan your food in advance. So what I, I like for lunch is sandwiches and um, cookies. So what I bought yesterday was, let's see. Oh, my hands so funny. I bought this big package of turkey lunch meat, and I cut it in four pieces. And then uh, I put, I'll put three of these in the freezer. And so one of these packages lasts me about um, maybe a week, sandwiches for a week. So I want to enjoy Thanksgiving. I don't want to just blast past Thanksgiving. So I bought this squirrel last year. It's so cute at Marshall's. And so, okay, so today I'm having in my new teapot, I already uh, chipped my teacup. And I was being so careful, uh, and I still chipped it. They're very easy to destroy. And I can't find any in the thrift stores. I mean, you know, if you need new teacups, a pinch of cinnamon if you need new teacups because yours are chipped it doesn't make any sense to buy chip tea <laughs> teacups at the thrift store so today you know what I do for a living now that I have retired from doing hair is I buy um, used items at thrift stores or uh, even yard sales or um, you know sometimes I get the stuff curbside or swap meets is good I was talking to the girl today about, you know, you can get some pretty good stuff at Swap Meats. I have done it. And so I have cinnamon, honey, and lemon. And and this is a really good tea. I, I bought the tea at Dollar Tree, 20 bags for a dollar. It's not horribly expensive. And it's one of my favorite ones. So I bought, um, I bought some kind of a shift dress. It looks, it was made in Italy. And then I bought a 100% silk dress. Um, I have pretty good luck selling dresses. Uh, eventually, the dresses seem to sell. So I'm liking dresses. Although, you know, now I have lots of dresses. And then I bought um, an Eye of Horus um, necklace. And I will show it to you. And we will discuss that as soon as I get my lunch made. Okay, so now I bought... Dollar Tree. I bought these dinner tr dinner rolls. I think it was uh, either eight, eight, yeah, for a dollar. So you know they were about twelve and a half cents each. But the thing about uh, rolls is I think they're a little bit yummier than bread, and you can have them like at dinner. So I have two rolls. I'm just gonna make one sandwich. So, you know, I want to enjoy my uh, lunch now that I finally got home. So, okay, so I have all kinds of bread in my freezer, so I'm going to be eating my bread down. Um, I bought these, these um, candles at um, 99 cent only. Let's see, I can't smell. I can't smell the... Let me see if I can smell... Look at this cuteness. It it has a very mild uh, smell to it, but it smells good, so that's a good situation. So on my sandwich, I want some mayonnaise and mustard. Not too much. Don't go crazy. Just a little bit. Um, I'm going to buy some more of these small cutting boards and just use them like plates. I like eating on cutting boards. They're cheap enough. I bought this one for a dollar. It's not expensive. So what I was, today, I was a day late for the, ooh, I was a day late for the dollar shopping. So the stuff I bought was full price, which is okay as long as you make sure you get good stuff. That you, you, you know, after you've been selling stuff for a while. Okay, so what I usually do, like on one of these little sandwiches, I just get one piece of lunch meat. Uh, the package comes with 40 pieces of lunch meat, I think. 
So if you cut it in half, that's giving yourself 80 pieces of lunch meat. I'm just going to make the sandwiches one at a time. Uh, if I eat, I'm going to eat as many as I want to eat. I think the um, trick is to find food that isn't too uh, fattening that you like. That uh, And then I, I stockpile my freezer full of cheese. Uh, one of the channels I follow, Sit Off the Grid, uh, they're uh, car carnivores. And so they pack their freezer. Here, I also buy this ham from Dollar Tree. They pack their freezer full of meat. And I thought, really, you know, like if something happens, is it better to have a freezer full of meat or a freezer full of uh, meat and cheese and bread? I have stuff in the stockpile to um, make. So um, you got eight slices for $2. So these are about um, four slices for... 25 these aren't the cheapest cheeses but this stuff's good okay so i have a nice little cheese sandwich to eat see this Ninety-nine cent only it could be any kind of chips so what I'm doing is I'm adding chips and I'm reducing cookies. So here's the um, easy cookies I made. In a perfect world, I will only eat two. Yummy. So um, you could just have sandwiches and tea. But I'm going to be working a lot and so I'm going to be eating my uh, lunch as I work. The peppermint tea is very tasty. This necklace, notice how the eye picks up the light. It's kind of creepy, really. Okay, this is the eye of Horus. And on the back, notice like the hands and then notice the little fingers are making making um, um, a pyramid and then at the top notice it's kind of bird-like this is going to um, figure into the lore of the eye of Horus and so if I should need to sell this okay to this day the the eye of Horus thing persists and uh, you can see the eye on our dollar bill. Okay, the eye of Horus. And there's a point to this. Uh, if you watched my video yesterday on... Um, on the aliens. We're going to get to that. Okay, the eye of Horus, otherwise Wadjet or... Udjat is Egyptian lore. Iris, no, Horus battles Seth to avenge his father's death. Osiris, Osiris was killed by Seth. Isis, the wife of who was a magician, the wife of, of Osiris. Okay, so now Seth was, was, um, was enraged with Osiris and cut him in 14 pieces. So when Isis was going to do magic and bring bring Osiris back to life, they sent out a huge falcon. And you will see the falcon as well on the um, Egyptian tombs and stuff. And so with the sharp-eyed, I think it was a falcon, he finds all 14 pieces except for 
Osiris's penis. Couldn't find that. But that was not a problem. Isis was able to, to do magic and she was able to um, have Horus. She reassembles... She reassembles Osiris and she gives birth to Horus. Okay, during battle, Horus loses his right eye. After, after doing more magic, he's given his right eye back to Horus. Isis restored, I think. Anyway, so now, in the um, Egyptian mythology... Osiris loses his penis. Okay, so now we have this this uh, transgender thing. And possibly uh, behind that is Osiris, who was restored to God of the underworld. And behind this idol god Osiris, who lost his you-know-what, is the Draco, or the Reptilians. So the two of them are very tricky working together, possibly. This is only a theory, don't get hysterical. But it is kind of odd, you know. He is the god of the underworld. Seth was the sun god. So this goes back to the, the, the battles, big battles. And uh, yesterday we discussed how the the um there's an attack on the tall grays in california and that is what is at the heart of these fires so okay that was what i was doing today and i'm working today you know and i will be back so i will be back with i'm doing cheat meals i'm going to make a very cheap dinner so uh, if you can find these big packages of, of lunch meat and you buy, you know, everything to make your sandwiches. Another thing, though, I would suggest is if you really don't have enough money, you want to go to the food bank as many as you can, as often as you can. And you want to get um, food stamps. If you apply for food stamps, don't leave any money in. I know someone who was denied food stamps. I know of her. I don't actually know. I heard she was denied because she had $30 in her checking account. So she took the check $30 out so that she had a zero balance and reapplied and she got it. So if you're sitting in your house starving and you cannot get the food stamps, try to figure out what is causing you to... Um, not be qualified and and make the adjustments and then start thinking okay how can i make better use of my uh this these were made by a cake mix uh you can also i want to mention this while i'm at it if you buy a package of these you can use these in making cookies and things that require eggs not everything but like the cookies for sure you can and so then all you need is a little oil or shortening and margarine and, and a half a cake mix makes a lot of cookies. So try to find a way to buy some stuff. Like today wasn't dollar day, so I had to pay six something for the dresses, which was a bummer because, you know, if it was dollar day, I could get six dresses. But still, it'll be okay. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to spend $1 and you're trying to sell that item for $20 on eBay or, um, you know, the other one. I don't know what the name of that one is. So, okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ways, you know, I did the gathering cans video. Um, I did the um, gambling video. Sometimes gambling is good because, you know, they have... Uh, free snacks and stuff but if you have any good ideas uh, on how to earn a little extra money if you will leave it on comments oh and i did uh i uh subscribe to a new uh channel life with mike i will try to um i will try to tweet one of his videos it's really good good videos a nice wholesome nice guy and i got him off 
um, Life with Patty, which is also nice as well. And I like just seeing their towns. You know, everywhere is not like San Diego. Thank God it's very expensive here. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.